Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here and pray. And I wanted to spend some time with each one of you. And, um, well, I'm being told that praying in the Spirit is not for us all the time. And it is for us all the time. It's for us now. Why would God give us the power of praying in the Spirit now? If it wasn't for today, I don't understand that. That's what I'm, I'm having a hard time with that. And I just want to tell you guys, pray. Pray 24-7. Pray all the time. Pray every day. Pray every single time that you have a moment to yourself. Pray under your breath. Pray when you're cooking, when you're cleaning, when you're showering. It doesn't matter. Pray in the Spirit all the time. It's so important, y'all. I'm, I'm having such a hard time with people saying that, um, you're supposed to keep it to yourself. Yes, whenever you're in church, you are not to be disrupting church and praying in the spirit while you're in church. Don't do that. It's rude. It's disruptive. Like if you stand up in church and that, 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 you just start going off. Obviously, that's going to be, um, that's not that's not cool. I mean, but if you if you do have a message, the Lord's given it to you a word, and you feel the need to stand up and share with the church, that someone else is supposed to interpret it. That is just that's just how God operates, and that's cool. But but right now I am praying in the spirit, and I'm going to pray now. If anyone wants to pray with me, I would love for you to pray with me. I am. I have alone time, and that's what I like to do sometimes. If, if I'm in the vehicle or. I am just a moment to myself. Now, I, I, I guess I just have a, a problem with it when people say that you're not supposed to pray in the Spirit. When it is, it is something that breaks strongholds, you guys. The enemy does not want you to pray in the Spirit because he doesn't want you to break the strongholds. He doesn't want you to have abundance of awesomeness happening in your life. So, I'm not making it up. I'm not making consonants and sounds and vowel sounds that are not my own. I do, I do begin with a sound of my own, the ba or da or something like that, just to jump start it. But it's here and it's not me. And I am not boasting because this is not of me. It is of God. I do not do this on my own. It's the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Father, that strongholds are being broken right now in the name of Jesus. The ears are being opened, the wax removed, hearts of stone are, re, re, um, of, are re, replaced with hearts of flesh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that people have knowledge in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for everyone watching right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you are touching them, that you are giving them words of wisdom and knowledge, and that they receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, so if their heart desires that, Lord God, that you have given it to them and all they have to do is act on faith right now. Rebuke the devil, rebuke the enemy, rebuke um, uh, unforgiveness. I just forgive everyone in my life right now in the name of Jesus because I choose to, Lord God, so that you will forgive me and that I may, Heavenly Father, receive baptism of the Holy Spirit fully, completely, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Every prayer language is different. Every person is different. Everyone, you have to understand that even if you have that, 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 whatever it is, whether it's the, the as, as, as fast and strong as mine, if it's quicker than mine, if it's less syllables, it doesn't matter. Just speak in it and allow it to grow. Allow it to change. Allow the Heavenly Father to work through you. It's so important. Thank you, Father, that you are 
Bora, 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 <laughs> people saying that there is a religion or that there's Christianity or that there's Christ. There is something more out there, something beyond what we're used to. Thank you, Father, for delivering those that need delivering, setting free those that are enslaved. Oh, Heavenly Father, I have a heart for those that are going through situations that are being trafficked or... Uh, fostered, adopted, uh, everything, Lord. Those that are fatherless, hungry, Lord. Thank you for praying with me and agreeing with me that everyone that comes into this channel, that you, that you your eyes eyes are opened and that you do see the power of the Holy Spirit. I have different people telling me things like um, praying in the Spirit um, that I need to go faster or slower. This is just how it's coming out and sometimes it's even faster than it is right now because the Holy Spirit moves me and it's it's very interesting because I feel it in my gut like down deep in my belly a lot of the times it almost feels like nauseating like I need to throw up like it just and it, it's it's kind of like you just can't you know how like sometimes you can be sick and you just can't suppress it anymore like you just oh I'm, I'm gonna be sick and then it'll be like that sometimes I, I feel that way sometimes I don't sometimes I'm just feeling like obedience I just want to be obedient and I want to pray right now and so I begin but then sometimes I'll be in the moment where I'm emotionally like just praying for someone and I'm interceding for someone I'm um just being a, a prayer warrior if you will just praying on their behalf and and I can just start talking talking about it and show those of us about a second case you put a second and the book of the decade of the get up of a decision of easy but of a second and the book of the decade 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 of pray in the spirit that you would take it from me. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that you're able to do that. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that you gave it to us for today. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that you want us to pray in it all the time so that you may use us, that you may work through us. Pray in your spirit, pray often. Show those of us about us at the I pray that this blesses someone. I pray that someone hears this and can relate to it. I pray that it opens some eyes, some ears, some hearts. If you don't know Jesus at Christ as your Lord and Savior, I pray that you do. I pray that you come to know him before it's too late. We are not just in the last days, you guys. We're in the last hour. I tell you, it is so close. If you look up signs and wonders, if you look up prophetic words, oh, the Prophecy Club. Check out the Prophecy Club. I want to say his name is Ken Peters. You just look up the, um, the word that he gives on tribulation. Time is near. Time is here. You don't want to wait any longer. I'm telling you right now, you guys, and I, I'm, what does it benefit me? What does it benefit me to tell you about Jesus? Absolutely nothing other than the fact that my word says that if I know and I don't share it, your blood is on my hands. I care about you. I love you. And I want you to know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. <laughs> You'll have eternity with him. So I praise, I praise God for you. I thank you that you do not feel lost and alone. I thank you that you have found this channel. I thank you that someone 
a divine relationship um, is in your life that you can talk to and that you can say, Jesus is my Lord and continue to pray. And I would love to know that you have prayed in the Holy Spirit, I, that you're praying with tongues and you're praying in the Spirit. And um, that if you have questions, please comment on my channel. Let me know. Um, the, it's a great community channel. A lot of people are praying for other people on there and speaking to each other. So I love you guys. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Please continue to keep us in your prayers and I'll keep you in mind. God bless you. Bye-bye.